Good morning, MCHS, and welcome to another episode of MCTV. I'm your host, Shane Curry. And I'm Eric DePatty. Today, we're looking at some recent events that happened in Mournville and MCHS, including the Filibus campaign to collect food donations and the school's annual formal day. But first, our top story. <coughs> with Christmas less than a week away, the festive season is definitely in the air. Mournville kicked off the season with a bang on November 23rd and 24th with its annual Light Up the Night Festival in late November. Reporter Chelsea Taylor covers this story. From November 23rd to 25th, Mournville held its annual Light Up the Night Christmas Festival. As always, there was no shortage of people showing off their Christmas spirit during the event. Christmas is a special time of year because it's about families. It's not just about the gifts and the holiday part of it. It's all about the meaning of Christmas, which is bringing people together, sharing, loving, and enjoying the time together. That's what it's all about. I think it's just uh, people just coming together, people just uh, kind of uh, having a peace about them and, and celebrating and celebrating together and, and coming together in community like today. It's, uh, it's quite awesome. This year, the Light Up the Night Festival held 15 events, from fireworks to family games, from a huge craft sale to an indoor circus. This year's events appealed to children and adults of all ages. Well, the festival is all about bringing our community together. This is an opportunity for people to enjoy the local businesses and community that we have here in general. So it's an opportunity to light up the park and bring our entire town together. The festival is great. Um, we were down at the... Um, Sobeys for the baking contest, which was amazing. There was 41 entries, and that was a lot of fun. We're looking forward to having the sanded parade tonight and the uh, fireworks. So, and I think it's just awesome for, for people just to be together to share and to, yeah, be in kind of a one accord. So. Despite all the excitement of the event, including the massive fireworks display, for children, the highlight of the festival boiled down to one individual. Um, because I like that um, we get to see Santa and sometimes we get to see his elves and sometimes we, and we get presents. According to organizers and participants, the Light Up the Night Festival was a huge success. This boils down to the hard work of all the volunteers that made it happen, as well as corporate sponsorship. Well, the sponsors are an integral part. Without the sponsors, a lot of the events that we do have couldn't be part or couldn't be part of the event. Like for example, Service Credit Union bringing us the Circus Montreal today. Without their sponsorship, it may not have been able to happen. The 2012 Light Up the Night Festival was an incredible opportunity for individuals and families across Mournville to get into the holiday spirit a month early. Plans are already underway for next year's event. For MCTV News, this is Chelsea Taylor reporting. As part of the school's Remembrance Day observance, MC Chesters are annually asked to dress up in an event known as Formal Day. From suits to skirts, student took, students took to the halls looking sharp as ever. The reporter Erica Obochon gives us this look.
only six days till Christmas, and it looks like we could be in for a cold snap. To see if Santa needs to be wearing long underwear, here's MCTV meteorologist Rose Van Brabman with the weather details. Thank you, Shane and Eric. Montreal is looking at some snow and rain with at one degree. Toronto, sun and clouds at six degrees. Iqaluit's looking at some snow at minus eight degrees. Winnipeg's also looking at some snow at minus 10 degrees. Yellow Knight is looking at a lot of clouds plus a little bit of sun at minus 21 degrees. Regina, cloud and sun at minus 12 degrees. Whitehorse has got a lot of sun with a little bit of clouds at minus 30 degrees. Vancouver is going to be having a rainy day at 6 degrees. Halifax is looking at some rain and snow at 1 degree. And St. John's is looking at lots of clouds, a little bit of sun at 0 degrees. May I have the Alberta weather, please? Medicine Hats looking at some sunshine at minus 4 degrees. Calgary, mostly sun, a little bit of clouds at minus 9 degrees. Banff is looking at some sun and clouds at minus 10 degrees. Red Deer is also looking at some sunshine at minus 14 degrees. Edmonton also looking at some sunshine for minus 13 degrees at minus 13 degrees. Fort McMurray is at, having some sun and snow at minus 14 degrees. High level, mostly sun, a little bit of clouds at minus 19 degrees. Grand Prairie looking at some snow at minus 18 degrees. Jasper at minus 8 degrees with some sun and cloud, and Banff with some sun and cloud at minus 10 degrees. May I please see the current conditions? We're looking at some sunshine at minus 23 degrees. The winds will be coming from a southeast at 10 kilometers per hour. The relative humidity will be at 84 percent. Sunrise will be at 847, and the sun will go down at 415. May I see the weekly conditions, please? Once they look at some sunshine, the highest temperature will be at minus 19 degrees, lowest at minus 20. Thursdays look at some sun and cloud. The highest temperature will be at minus 14 degrees, lowest minus 20. Friday will be looking at some snow at minus 15 degrees. At the highest, the lowest will be at minus 20. Saturdays look at some clouds. The highest temperature will be at minus 19 degrees, lowest will be at minus 21. Sunday's looking at some snow with the highest temperature also at minus 19 degrees and lowest at minus 21. Monday's looking at a lot of clouds with a little bit of sun. The highest temperature will be at minus 21 degrees, lowest at minus 26. And finally, Tuesday's looking at some sun and cloud at minus 24 at the highest and minus 28 at the lowest. Back to you, Shane. Thank you, Rose. As we mentioned earlier in this broadcast, the Late the Night Festival was a huge success. Paired up with this event was the annual fill -a bus campaign, which raises money and food donations for the local food bank. Very own Dan Foley braved the cold and brings us a report. Didn't even drop, he didn't even drop his microphone this time. We came to Sobeys to ask about fill -a bus and what it's about. Well, we, we, we stuff the bus. We fill the bus. <laughs> we hopefully get it right full to the top. Uh, if it wasn't for that, uh, we'd be in dire straits, I'm sure. Uh, uh, this is, the, the filibus is a big thing. Uh, we usually, takes us pretty much over a good part of the winter with food. Yeah. And we just come and greet the people that are coming out to um, thank them for the donations that they give and wish everybody Merry Christmas. This is my third time doing Stuff of Us. Every year I bring my two boys, uh, Nathan and Zach, and we come out and spend uh, two hours, um, always the last shift of the day is ours, every year. Well, I've been volunteer with the food bank for about 12 or 13 years now, and since the uh, filibus started, I've been here, yeah. Well, we, uh, we're just helping, but uh, we, uh, we take care of the food hampers and uh, we collect the food uh, and it's brought to the uh, food bank and then when we assemble the food hampers we go to the food bank and, and uh, take what we need and then the money, and we also collect money and with the monies that we collect we buy the uh, food for 
people to have a good meal for Christmas. You know, it's really important uh, that people realize how many families in Morinville are affected by the Morinville Food Bank, and especially at Christmas time. I know there's a lot of parents that, you know, they'd rather spend money on their kids' Christmas than feed themselves. So um, it's really important that everyone in Morinville just comes together and supports the other community and, and the people that are around us. And, and that's why I think the Stuff of Us is a, is a really great project because we, we really do fill up the food, food bank at a time where it's most needed. We got seven, I think it was about 7,000 pounds last year. So we're going to try and beat that this year. For MCTV News, this is Daniel Foley reporting. What a waste of flesh. Anyway, well, that's our show for today. Thanks for tuning in. Join host Ben Lawrence and Skylar Lumala for our next show tomorrow. Rose, how's the weather looking? Well, hold on to your scarves, boys, because we're in for a cold one. But hopefully it will warm up. <coughs> Once again, thanks for watching. For all of us at MCTV News, I'm Eric Patty. I'm Rose Van Brabant. And I'm Shane Curry. Have a great afternoon, MCHS. <laughs>